Welcome to the MLG Top 5 Countdown. Today we're taking a look at the top 5 plays from the matchup between French Zerg Stefano and Korean Protoss Haas at the MLG Summer Arena. Kick things off at number 5 is Stefano's Rush from Game 1. Very dangerous to engage with that Roach Link Force, but here he is. Now moving in an incredible force field, trapped most of the sentries. How did Stefano squeeze through all those cracks? He really did get in there so quickly, but how on earth? I tell you what, man, Stefano is like a what? magical being. He's what? taking out everything here. That should not have happened at all. Coming in at number four, we have Oz getting revenge, this time wiping out all Stefano's army with his Archon heavy unit composition. Forward, he wants that Archon toilet oh so badly. He does have the energy for a Vortex. Can he in fact get it? Oh, uh, it looks like we see a couple infested Terrans spread out. Where are the Corruptors? The Mothership trying to find the key piece. Oh, a very missed Fungal and a huge Vortex on the left doing not that much, but the Archon yeah. numbers are still very high. The Broodlord's holding strong. These Infestors must do their best to abate this threat, but there are just so many Archons starting forward. Those units are ridiculously powerful. There are six Broodlords still on the map. The Infestors have no more energy left to do any Fungals, and this is looking like an, a near even exchange, but the Archons, will he get the Mothership? He does, and now with 50 Zerglings about to spring up onto the map, Oz is looking in good condition with these four Archons. Oz is back at number three, this time catching all the Infestors with perfect force fields. Oh, he's moving down the map a little bit, and oh, is he just gonna go for it? bold engagement by Stefano, the oh, oh the my god! At the front, the Infestors get decimated. This was a terrible engagement for Stefano. He will be able to pick off the Colossi, but at what cost? He has lost all of his Infestors down to just one. It's time for a perfect Vortex at number two as Oz takes out all the Infestors. With almost no minerals left, Oz is at 160 supply. Oh no, the Surround the Mothership is coming up. It has 132 energy, a nice Archon oh my goes God. down. Oz blinking directly under with no fungal growth. That means that there is no way to prevent these Stalkers from blinking underneath. And suddenly the entire army of Stefano is falling. A fantastic Vortex and out come the Infestors. These Infestors should all go down. And the number one play of the tournament goes to the final battle where Oz takes it with his oh carriers God. and Look DTs. Carriers. My God, how many carriers are out on the field right 13. now? 13, oh. here we go. Uh, there's uh. going to be a lot of broods that are just going to instantly die here. The Corruptor is actually Not just kind of going up randomly. And here we go. A lot of Infested Terrans going down. The Corruptor's coming up, trying to target things down. Oh, the Infested Terrans actually might be able to do a great job here. A lot of the Corruptors have died. We're seeing quite a few oh of these God. actually die. Oh, my God. Stefano is actually targeting down these so, so well. A lot of his Corruptors have killed so many of the carries. There's still quite a few left over, though. Yeah, I mean... Oh, and DTs are coming out and killing oh, off his Infestors. Oh, losing the Infestors is huge. He went down to three Infestors from 11. A great move by Oz there. And there is just not enough anti-air left. Wow. Crazy, crazy game. Oz I, is just I think too so. strong. That's it for this Top 5. Check out MLG.TV for more awesome StarCraft action.